John Newland shares a story from his book, Ordinary, An Ordinary Man's Experience with God, how God will speak to you or show you something about your child when they're young and how important it is as a parent to continue to speak what God has shown you over their life as he shares a story about his own son, Isaac, and his, the word justice was spoken over him and also how he became an attorney at law. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, early on, the Lord laid on your heart, you know, a very specific word, you know, for your son. And share us a little bit about that aspect of it. Well, um, actually, I have to, I guess, give the credit back to Dr. James Dobson. Okay. Who's, uh, some of you may not know, he's, he's years past, a uh, very influential a Christian mm -hmm. uh, psychologist and yeah. focus on the family. And I would listen to him mm -hmm. uh, about daily riding on, in the car. And he said that uh, when you have a child or a son or a daughter, mm -hmm. try to see how they're bent or how their, their, their inner workings are. Don't try to right. make them into what you want them to be, trying mm -hmm. to be vic live vicariously through them. Instead, right. try to help them reach their potential as God has put their, his mm -hmm. mark on them to how they should be. Right. So I prayed. I said, Lord, uh, what about Isaac? Okay. Mm -hmm. How is, what do you mean by that? How, what's Isaac's been? Or what? Right. And I watched him as he would deal with the, uh, the different uh, other boys. How old was he? Uh, he was probably about eight. Okay. And I had a basketball net and Debbie would make mm -hmm. Uh, uh, really good cookies, and so we had all these boys who come to our yard, and I'd right. have a little talk to him a little bit about the Lord, and I'd watch how Isaac, and I saw that he loved fairness, mm -hmm. and so I, I, I got, it, I believe from the Holy Spirit, and I said Isaac loves justice. So at different times I would speak that I'd say right. Isaac loves justice, and then I'd right. say it again, Isaac loves justice. Mm -hmm. So at an early age mm -hmm. he decided that. He wanted to be an attorney or a lawyer. Wow, speaking and, of justice, right? And, and oh, yeah. so he began to study. My wife mm -hmm. would say, hey, you can play just a little bit, then we're going to come do the homework, and right. then you can play some more after that. Right. So he ended up, he was in a Christian school. Mm -hmm. And I was a little bit religious at the time. Uh, what does that mean? Religious would mean that I was... Uh, concerned about how others looked at me in my religion. Okay. And um, like I would fear be... Fear a man more than a fear of God? Yeah, I, I try to please others, and, I, and sometimes you get this legalistic thing mm -hmm. where you put the law even over how you would treat someone else like your son. Right. And so he was going to a Christian school, and I wanted him, uh, and he, he studied so hard. He was East Hill Christian at the time. Mm -hmm. And then he wanted to go to Washington High School. Mm -hmm. And his older brother had gone there. And I right. thought, oh, you know, it's, not, it's secular. What's uh -huh. he going to learn there? And I had a small fear. Is he going to match up being at a small Christian school? How's he going to match up at Washington? Right. Well, his mother and him won out with me. Right. You know, prevailed with me to go there. Right. He ended up uh, graduating 4.2. Wow. And, you know, and then he went to Florida State, 4.2. Florida State. And they, yeah, and yeah. then he went to Coastal Law School, and he was... Um, what you call, I'm trying to think what it's called now, where he was at the top of his class. Okay. And Magna Cum Laude? Yeah, okay. it, it wasn't, uh, it's, I can't think what it's yeah. called now. Okay. Um, but then he decided he wanted to do criminal. Valedictorian? Criminal. Okay. It wasn't valedictorian. Okay. okay. It's law review. Okay. Oh, okay. It's law review. Okay. And he was offered a really good job, six figure, to be at a school, a, 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 a lawyer. Didn't y'all take him to Morningstar or something like that? No, that was another time in, in his okay, life. That okay. was no, that was a good one. That was powerful. Uh, confirmation about Isaac loves justice. I'll break off and okay. we'll come uh, back digress. To it. We'll come maybe. back to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, with Isaac, uh, he became a good defense attorney. Great. He actually says that when he goes before the jury, he feels the anointing so strong. Right. And he says his secret of winning, he wins and he wins and he wins uh -huh. in the courtroom is hours and hours of preparation, mm -hmm. and then uh, with prayer, and then when you're prepared, he's able to present his case. But well, it, well, it was well, confirmed, let me go yeah. back to Isaac okay, Loves okay, Justice, okay? okay. okay. Uh, he was going to Florida State, and 
he said, you know, Dad, I want to be in a fraternity, okay? Right. I want to live this whole fraternity life, okay? Right. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, son, are you going to get away from the Lord? You right. Know? And I think he was, uh, uh, you know, not really going to the church at that time mm -hmm. and going to some of the parties and things. And my wife, we'd been in the Browns Revival for many years. Oh, and we'd yeah. gone every night. We were prayer team coordinators. And she was tired, somewhat mm -hmm. burnt out. Right. In fact, Finney says revival stop when the people get tired. Right. And we were a little bit tired. I loved it because, you know, I could hunt all night. I could, right. I could certainly pray all night. Right. But she was getting tired. So I said, we need, a, we need, we'd heard about these pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. You know, people would come to the revival as a pilgrimage. Well, I hadn't right. done a pilgrimage. I thought, right. Lord, what could I do for Isaac? And uh, Jonathan was away in chiropractic college. Mm -hmm. What could we do? And so I thought, you know, Morningstar had a young band with a bunch of instruments and there were long hairs and they played really cool music. Right. I thought, I bet Isaac could identify with that. Uh -huh. Debbie loves the prophetic. She's read everything on the prophetic, wants me to be involved with the right. prophetic, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, so I thought, you know, I bet I could bless them both there. And I had said to Debbie, I like this guy named John Paul Jackson. Oh, yeah. And I'd liked him, and he intrigued me. And I told her, I said, honey, if he's within 200 miles, let's, uh, let's go hear him. It turns out he was the head speaker at this, wow. at this conference. Okay. So I was looking forward to it. Uh -huh. So we went there, and just for one example, I'll make it short. No, for, no, for, no, no, tell for us the story. Isaac, mm -hmm. um, they did this uh, uh, time mm -hmm. where you would have personal ministry right. and, and actually hear a word from the Lord. Right. And I like so, the way they do that there because they're under authority. Right. They have teams. Right. They're walking through certain biblical principles, right. and they're very in fear and trembling, but they deliver that. Right, what they feel in yeah. their heart is oh, from yeah. the Lord. Yeah. So we went into a little cubicle, mm -hmm. and there was three of us, mm -hmm. and there was three of them. It, and they were all young, mm -hmm. and the girl in the center was just beautiful. Right. And all of a sudden, she began to weep. Mm. Big tears, boo-hooing, crying. Right. And she says, oh, Isaac. Right. The Lord says you love justice. Wow. Yes, that's the first thing she said. And so wow. that just opened him wide up. And then she spoke, they spoke words to each of us. She said, we need you in the body of Christ. Isaac, we need you. The Lord says, come on, son. Sure. And so it that's spoke powerful, to Isaac. Yeah. Right. So then um, the next thing, we were in these classes trying to uh, somehow initiate or, or bring about us to hear Learn how or to move see, into the to, yeah. To, yeah, yeah, into seeing or hearing Sorry. something from the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And some people say, okay, come on now, is that real to learn to do that? Let me tell you, if you're playing the piano for the Lord, didn't you practice a little? Didn't somebody teach you how to do that? Yeah, okay, so right. they're trying to get you to engage with hearing. Right. And so they said, okay, now break up into groups of five. Right. And so Isaac and Debbie flee from me. They right. went to their own group. Okay? Right. Right. So I'm in a group, and so now you're holding hands, praying, and so we're, we're saying, okay, now see if you, the person next to you, see uh -huh. if you can see something about them or see if you can hear something from about them. Right. And I'm struggling a little bit. I'm not right. sure what I'm seeing or hearing. Right, right. And then, okay, we do it again. Uh -huh. The next one is for the person on the right. One was on the left or on the right. Right. And so I, by faith, said a couple things. Mm -hmm. And then they said the next one we're going to do, I'm not going to tell you who this is for. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling this because Isaac said that when that happened to him, uh -huh. he saw something very plain, an open vision right in front of him. Wow. He saw a tiger. And it was like a holographic tiger, like you'd see from a computer matrix where they draw lines and you can only see the lines of something on a screen. Right. But it was a tiger. He was looking at the tiger right in front of him. And then uh -huh. the guy that was speaking said, and whoever or what you're seeing, no, what you're seeing or hearing, it's you. And Isaac said, right then, the tiger turned into 3D, highly colored, a tiger with stripes and orange. He was staring in the face of a tiger. Wow. So I want to say Isaac is a tiger. Yeah. Wow, it's awesome. Yeah, so he has a, he, now he has somewhat of a prophetic gift. He doesn't really walk in it as much as Debbie does. Right. But he, that's, you know, that's yes. so important. The Lord speaks to us. I mean, yes. it's, it's his proceeding voice. Man does not live by bread alone, but by the word that proceeds, which is a continuation. Right. My sheep know my voice. It's a continual voice. Right. And so often people have an original word, 
Right. You know, God establishes them, but Jehoshaphat says, believe in the Lord, you'll be established. Believe in his prophets and you'll succeed. Right. That proceeding word. Right. You know, it's, it's, per your, it's perpetual. I believe yeah, yeah. we should consult. This is what I believe. Okay. You can call me whatever you want. This is what this man believes. That you can consult the Lord in everything you do. All day long, everything you do. You learn to have his witness. It's called walking in the spirit. And when, then you just go to ask. And what I hear is, I used to hear yes, my son, or no, my son. Right. But now it's yes or no. Right. And then I go with it by faith. Right. I know they say be cautious, but right. I say be bold. Right. When Peter got that inkling and he heard the Lord, he mm -hmm. figured it was him on the water, mm -hmm. was he bold? Yeah, the other guys in, in, the, in the boat, right. I think they wished they'd have stepped out. Right. All right, so I only got a few more days left. Right. Greg, that's all I got. So I want to step out for the Lord. That's why I'm here right now. That's why I wrote I the book. lots of days. Yeah, yeah. lots of days. Oh, but yeah, our impossible. time is limited. Yeah. James calls it a vapor. Yeah, you don't know. You're yeah. not promised tomorrow. It's shorter and shorter as life goes on. You yeah. think, my goodness, what am I doing with my time? Help right. me to focus. Right. You so know? I say, hear the Lord yeah. in the book, okay, yeah. in the theme of it, underlying, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be all preachy, but with each right. story is hear the Lord, yeah. fear the Lord, mm -hmm. and obey the Lord. Then That's you're good. a disciple. You don't have to have your pastor holding your hand. Right. Now, you want to honor the pastor. He's just right. a man, but you want to honor him. Right. But you want to be a disciple who walks every right. day with the Lord. That's, That's what good. I'm hoping you'll do. Can you say the three things again? So Hear the Lord. Uh -huh. You hear him. Right. You fear the Lord. That's an awesome yeah. reverence for him. Yeah. You want to obey everything he, that he tells you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you, you do. You hear him, fear him, and obey the Lord. I could show you the scriptures. Right. He first spoke it to Moses, but Jesus said the same thing. Yeah, Jesus says in John chapter 15, he says, apart from abiding in me, right. you can do nothing. Right. But if you abide in me and my voice, my word abides right. in you, yeah. you can do anything. Right. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of people out there right now, John, that, that would want to abide with the Lord, but they just need a simple plan to do it. Just uh, really helps out. And so we have a plan for you. As a matter of fact, it's at iabide.org. You can request that simple plan right now. and It'll come to you immediately in the email. And I'll walk you through some simple abiding steps that'll teach you, you know, how to actually abide with Him and how to hear His voice. And it's, you're successful when you're hanging out with God and you're listening. He's hanging out with you, but you have to acknowledge His existence and that He's there and He's omnipresent, that He's omnipotent, He knows everything, and He's going to lead you, and he's in, he's in love with you and he wants to walk life out with you. And so you can go to iabide.org and request your simple plan today. That's so powerful, John. That's good. Listen, we're going to be right back from this break, but we're going to continue, we get back from the break, for this interview with John Newland. We'll be right back. You know, here he is, of all the things that he chooses, and you write about this in the book, when he chooses to be an attorney, he wants to be the defense attorney. Right. Talk about how you felt about that at first, and then... Well, I'm a little bit of a prosecutor by nature. Okay? No. Really? Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm the guy, <laughs> I honor you. I can't believe yeah. that you were a sheriff. I honor you. I think yeah. that's so cool. Thank okay? you. Yeah. No, we need to honor our police. Yes, we do. Police, who are you going to call in the middle of the night? Right. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. the same way, Bubba, who are you going to call when you're really down and out? You're going to call that preacher. That's right. All right, so Isaac, let me come back on a train of thought. You're, you know, yeah, here he's going to choose his profession, yeah, to how be, he's going to apply. Yeah, his, to be a defense attorney. Right. And so, personally, I believe in mercy. I love the concept of mercy. I didn't believe I could be forgiven. That's a right. whole other story. I'm here because of mercy. Yeah, mercy, mercy. Yeah. So I'm yeah. a merciful man, but I don't want anybody raping babies. Right. I don't want anybody hurting the defenseless, okay? Right. So... I want to put those guys where they can't hurt. Right. Now, Isaac, though, he believes, so I, mm -hmm. three times he's gotten guys that were going for life. Either they walk out of there in shackles going for life or they walk out free. Three times he got them off. So he, they're Different arrested, guys. they're charged, Yes. they're going to go before the judge, for and life. Isaac's there to represent he's them. He's their attorney. Okay. He's okay. their attorney. Okay, he gets them off. I said, Isaac, what? If one of them's guilty. Right. He said, Dad, don't even go there. I work for God and the Constitution. He said, do you know that 1% in our prisons are innocent? That's 10,000 men and women that are innocent. They need a good attorney. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's his calling, okay? Our whole system is based off it's better to let two guilty men get free than to send one innocent man to jail. 
And the mindset today is like, even with Judge Kavanaugh, he wasn't, they convicted him before anything. And thank God there's justice because, you know, obviously that was just an, an attack to prosecute somebody before defense. But when I read about Isaac, I'm thinking like, I think I told Donna, my wife's like, he's our attorney. <laughs> I want him. Well, hopefully you're not in trouble. Oh, yeah, but you never yeah. know. You get falsely right. accused. I mean, the fact that this right. is the whole thing right. is right. that God literally, Jesus said specifically, if there's something happening in the church, go to them. Work it right. out. Right. That doesn't work. Take two people. I mean, right. his, he was about resolving a matter. Right. And then take it before the leadership in the church. So he was always wanting us to resolve it. And sometimes we get mindsets and we need a third person or people, justices of God. Right. And that, you know, the, and he says, present the evidence. Don't bring an accusation without an evidence. And so that's what attorneys do. I mean, right. if I want to build a house, I'm going to get a carpenter. You right. know, if I'm going to get, go to the moon, I'm going to hire somebody, an engineer. Right. But if I'm, if I'm going to the legal system, I need an attorney that's going right. to represent my business, uh, personally, whatever it is. And so, you know, a lot of people sit at the defense table because all my years in law enforcement, I know a lot of people sit over there that they're not guilty. They're just being accused of something. Right. So it needs to be appeared before the jury or their peers and to have somebody like Isaac that, that's there constitutionally. And then you said he felt he feels the presence of the Lord when he stands there. Right. Right? Well, part of it uh, is also gain the favor of the judge. Mm -hmm. That means he has to know everything about every case. Right. And so the judge respects that. And right. you honor the judge. Right. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So I just, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, both your sons are blessings. You know, I know that uh, John is a blessing and has been one. He came out, I believe, even that the father and son things that we were doing with the Malachi mandate and the father-son camping trips. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Subscribe. Listen, together we can touch the world. That's right. Subscribe below. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go away. Subscribe. We're going to touch the world. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Hey, be sure to check us out at vfnkb.com and also join the VFNKB community at vfnkbcommunity.com. Listen, your success is our success. Our success is your success. And our success together is kingdom success.